Can a humanoid robot really break Usain Bolt's legendary 9.58 second world record? In 2025, China shocked the world by hosting the first ever world humanoid robot games, a futuristic event that felt like science fiction come to life. And among all the football matches, boxing bouts, and dancing robots, one race went viral. The 100-meter sprint. Four advanced humanoids lined up on the track, two joystick-assisted, two fully autonomous, each representing years of research and millions in development. Engineers stood ready. The crowd roared. And when the gun went off, chaos unfolded. But here's where it gets crazy. The robot that crossed the finish line third was declared the winner. That's right. The results shocked even the teams that built them. How could that happen? Was it a rules loophole? Was it fair? Stick with me, because this wasn't just a race. It was a glimpse of the future. A future where humanoids might one day outrun humans. A future where we're asking the impossible. Could a robot beat Usain Bolt? The 100-meter sprint is always the highlight of the Olympics, the race that crowns the fastest athlete in the world. So naturally, when humanoid robots stepped onto the track for the same challenge, everyone wanted to know one thing. What's the real sprint speed of a humanoid robot? Running 100 meters might seem simple for humans, but for humanoid robots, it's a huge engineering challenge. Every step requires precise coordination between dozens of motors, hips, knees, ankles, all working together to keep the robot upright. Engineers have to carefully plan every footstep while constantly adjusting the robot's center of gravity to prevent a fall. Even small mistakes can send a 200-pound machine tumbling. Some robots in this race were joystick-assisted, meaning operators helped guide their movements in real time, while others ran fully autonomously, relying only on sensors and software. Clips from practice runs show just how tough this is. Robots stumbling, losing balance, and struggling to complete the full 100 meters. Getting to the starting line was already a victory. Here are the four finalists lining up for the most anticipated race of the humanoid games. Lane 1. Heaven, a sleek humanoid robot built by X-Humanoid, designed for stability and precision. Lane 2. Tian Gong, another entry from X-Humanoid. Lane 3. Gao E-Technology, powered by the Unitree H1, known for its explosive speed. Lane 4. Ling E-Technology, also using the Unitree H1, one of the fastest humanoids in competition. The tension in the stadium is electric. The countdown begins. In an instant, both Unitree H1 robots explode off the starting line with a burst of mechanical power. Both H1S immediately begin weaving slightly across their lanes, shifting left and right as their onboard stabilization systems fight to keep them upright. Just steps behind, the ex-humanoid robots take a more conservative start. Their movements are smaller, more deliberate, but their lack of pace is already obvious. And their shorter stride length shows the difference between bold engineering and cautious design. Then it happens, disaster on the track. One of the ex-humanoids stumbles, its center of gravity tipping forward. With no time to correct, it crashes onto the raceway, sliding to a stop. The crowd gasps, cameras flash, and engineers rush to its side. That robot is out. At first glance, the results seem obvious. Lingyi first, Gao Yi second, Tiangong third. But as the scoreboard lights up and officials huddle around the timing data, a murmur spreads through the stadium. Something doesn't add up. Wait, Tiangong won? The crowd erupts in confusion. Whatever just happened, no one expected this. And here's where everything changes. The officials announce a key detail that flips the standings on their head. The autonomy multiplier rule. In these games, robots running fully autonomously, without human joystick assistance, get their raw race time 
multiplied by 0.8 as a reward for their complexity. That means if a robot finishes in 25 seconds, it's officially scored as 20 seconds. While the two Unitree H1 robots were clearly the fastest on raw speed, both were operator-controlled, with engineers sprinting alongside them, joysticks in hand. But Tiangong? It ran fully on its own. No joystick. No engineering input. Just pure onboard AI control. The officials pull up the numbers. Tiangong's raw time. 26.875 seconds. After the 0.8x multiplier, 21.50 seconds. That's enough to leapfrog both Unitree robots and take first place. Viewers online explode with debate. Does autonomy really make it a fair win? Here's how it all shook out. First place, Tian Gong, X Humanoid, 21.50 seconds after the autonomy bonus. Second place, Lingyi Technology, Unitree H1, 22.08 seconds. Third place, Gao E Technology, Unitree H1, 24.53 seconds. Humans still run faster than robots. Tomorrow, robots may not just match us, they could leave us in the dust. This event showed that true competition in humanoid sports isn't just about speed, it's about intelligence, adaptability, and autonomy. And this is only the beginning. But here's the big question. Should robots have their own Olympics? Or should humans remain the ultimate champions of speed? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We're reading every single one. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the 100-meter robot sprint, hit that like button to support the channel. Subscribe for more insane humanoid robot competitions. And turn on notifications so you don't miss the football crashes, boxing knockouts, and more wild events coming up. The future of sports is changing fast, and you're here at the start of it. Stick around, because this is only getting crazier.